Hello everyone, and welcome to an introduction and demo of the Oracle in-memory database. Today's operational systems must function at speeds and volumes that challenge your data management and analytics architecture. To meet the needs of analytics, machine learning, and data streaming, in-memory database technology has come to the forefront of many system enhancement plans. In-memory databases take data and put it into columnar format, right in system memory, allowing for faster response and analytic SQL scans. Two approaches to in-memory database technology have been developed. First is the introduction of dedicated in-memory databases that run alongside your persistent operational database. This introduces numerous problems. You have two databases to manage, secure, audit, operate, maintain, and synchronize. Oracle, on the other hand, has added in-memory database technology to the Oracle 12C or 18C databases you already have. You just turn it on. Oracle will put data in both row and column format into memory, so you get both a read and write performance boost. It's transparent to your applications. No changes are required, and it's trivial to enable. You just turn it on. Let's see a demo. We will first demonstrate just how easy it is to turn on in memory. The first thing we need to do is check the SGA to find out the total amount of memory you have allocated to the database. We can do this with the simple show SGA command. To turn on in memory, allocate the amount of memory space from SGA to the in memory store using this command. Notice that this adds 20 gigabytes to the in memory store. Adding objects to the in memory column store can be done using a simple alter table command. In this command, we are altering the database objects by adding the in-memory attribute. Once we input this command, the tables will be populated into the in-memory column store, and we are ready to go. And that's it. That is literally all we had to do to enable in-memory in our database. Remember, we could turn this on within an active application, and it would immediately be compatible. No additional steps. This is about as simple as it gets. Now that in-memory has been enabled, we can start testing just how fast it really is. In this section of the demo, we are going to execute a series of queries against a large table using both the buffer cache and the in-memory column store. In other words, we will be comparing in-memory and non-in-memory query speeds. First, let's start out with a simple table scan. As you can see here, the performance of the query against the in-memory column store was significantly faster than the one on the traditional buffer cache. Traditionally, a full table scan is not the most efficient execution plan when you are looking for a specific entry in a table. Tables stored in the in-memory column store break this stereotype and we can demonstrate this by looking for a specific order in the line order table based on the order key. Once again, we see that the in-memory column store is a significant improvement over the traditional buffer cache. Let's kick it up a notch and see what happens when we have more complex WHERE clause predicates that include multiple columns and a subselect on the line order table. 
Even with all of these complex predicates, the in-memory column store query is still significantly faster, showing that for large scan operations it is the most efficient approach. Up to now, we have been focused on queries that scan only one table. Let's broaden the scope of our investigation to include joins and parallel execution. We will begin with the simplest join query, a join between the fact table line order and the dimension table, date dim. Once again, in-memory demonstrates an incredible boost in speed compared to the standard method for running queries. Now, I could keep going, but I believe that I've gotten the point across. In summary, Oracle Database in Memory is an unprecedented breakthrough in database performance, offering incredible performance gains, up to 100 times faster in fact, for a wide range of workloads. It is highly efficient, since it eliminates the need to copy data. It is simple, even trivial to adopt, which we proved at the beginning of the demo. It is cost-effective for any size and any platform. It's robust, mature, and safe by design. And perhaps the most important of all, it is transparent. No application changes are required to enable in memory. If you have Oracle Database 12C or 18C available, you just contact your Oracle Account Manager to get a license and then just flip the switch.